write the main logic of the game. You can try this on your own without the video or follow along here for a step-by-step -step guide. In Blocks 1, you learned how to program a square with a loop. This time, you will use a new kind of loop called Loop Forever. Remember, a loop enables you to nest other blocks within it and repeat those blocks as many times as you want. For the toss game, you want the program to loop until you're done playing, so it continually evaluates the toss condition. Go to Controls and add a Loop Forever block below the Speak block. Loop Forever means the program will repeat the logic within it forever, or until you stop the program. Now you need to add an if-then-else condition inside the loop forever block. This block allows you to evaluate if a condition is true before calling the logic within or else it will execute an alternate set of logic. For the toss game, you want the program to recognize each time you toss Sphero. To do this, you will need to use a comparator. A comparator compares two values and then calls conditional logic if the comparison is true. Go to the Comparators category. Change the Comparator block to Greater Than and drop it on the True field in the If Then Else block. This statement allows you to compare the two values you will enter next. Now go to the Sensors category and drag the Accelerometer sensor into the left side of the comparison making sure to select the total axis. This enables the change in acceleration, aka g-force of a toss, to be the condition for your if-then statement. Now set the right side of the comparator to 3. You can recap what this statement means by adding a code comment. Call the if logic if Sphero reads greater than 3 g's. If you run this program and pull up the live sensor data, then scroll over to the accelerometer tab, you can understand what 3Gs means. Toggle off the X, Y, and Z axis. You only need to look at the total acceleration for this. Knowing that 1G is resting, shake Sphero just slightly, noticing it reads just over 1G. Now toss Sphero about 2 feet in the air and catch it you'll see an accelerometer spike well over 3 Gs. So now you see how the toss game works. You throw the robot, the sensor reads the intensity of the throw, and then you can write some conditional logic to follow the toss inside of your if-then-else statement. Continue to the next step to fill in the code for the conditional logic.